Hi friends, this is Prasad. You are watching Power BI with Prasad. Today I come up with a new real-time scenario. Let's look into that requirement and then we'll find how to solve that. Our requirement is show or hide the chord visual based upon the user selected values rank. Show up to top three ranks the respective chords. This is what our requirement. Let me explain you more detail. So if I don't select any subcategories, so I need to show the top three okay, subcategories, total sales in the cards. You can see over here. Uh, phones, chairs, and then stores are the top three uh, mm, total sales done in uh, respect to subcategories, one to three ranks, and then you can see the totals over here. If I select, okay, sub, if I select one category, subcategory, I need to show only one card. If I tell, select two subcategories, I need to show only two cards. If I select three subcategories, I need to show three cards. If I select more than that, from those selections, whichever are top three that need to be shown. Right now, machines is the first position, furnishing is second, and envelopes are third position. Let's make for shades. Then you can see right now, shades become the first. If we go for uh, some other products, right now you can see phones became the first, and then that is what you're showing. That's our requirement, how we can achieve that. And in the ending of session, I'll explain you how to like expand this and then how to do more uh, uh, related to this requirement, right? So let's go into the, uh, the solution. Before going to the solution, small intro. We teach Power BI, we teach Power BI with SQL and then real-time projects. We also uh, give uh, uh, real-time projects also on Power BI. So for this kind of batches, okay? If anybody interested, please uh, contact on this number. We are starting very soon new batches. So please contact on this number. And we are also on Telegram, Power BI with Prasad. Please join the Telegram channel. You'll have a lot of material updates and a lot of interview questions and a lot of referrals also are there. Okay. Thank you so much. Please subscribe our channel, Power BI with Prasad. And then like and share if you want. Okay. So let's go into our solution. So first of all, let me show you the data, what will you have? So this is a simple store data. Uh, you can, you have a lot of order dates, order date, ship date, and shipping more customer ID, customer name, and the segment, cities, country, state, in code, region, product ID, category, and subcategory. And product name, sales, quantity, discount, this kind of okay, things are there in um, the data. So the data is the product level, but we want to make it uh, the subcategory wise total sales. So again, we use uh, everything is based upon total sales. So what I done, I've been created a measure for total sales. You can see it over here, very simple, sum of that order sales. Sum of the order sales column, I made it as a measure. And after that, my requirement is not this one. My requirement is to show or hide these three card visuals with the total sales as per the rank. So again, we need to show only the top three. If you don't have top three selected, so as per the selections, you need to show only those mini cards. This is the logic. To achieve that, again, you know, I created the rank column, sales rank of column only to display uh, what is what is the rank of which sub category. So this is not uh, uh, required in our requirement, but still. So this is what we need to see. So, okay. Let me go and show you what is the code that I've been written. First of all, I've been taking a variable in that, first of all, I summarize, uh, I created a virtual table using the summarize. So I summarize the total sales, sales uh, with respect to subcategories. Generally, like uh, I do have sales, individual, individual sales, but I want to make group, group by, by subcategory. So I'll take the orders table and then orders of subcategory, so which uh, the column on which I want to like uh, group by. And then I want to create a column with the name of T sales, and then I want to uh, keep uh, the total sales in that one. Simple, summarize, and then we already know like uh, summarize syntax, orders table, and then the column which we want to like group by, and then after grouping by, what is the expression that we want to do? We want to create a column uh, name T sales in that, okay, my expression is total sales. I, whatever sum of sales I created earlier, I want to use that one. So I got a summarized table. 
and after that i want to uh, uh, find a rank column i want to create a rank column okay and then i want to add to this particular summarize call table so we can do that using add columns uh so obviously what is the function of uh, functionality of add columns is nothing but when you give any table it will create a desired columns and then it will add that column to this particular table and then all the earlier columns and this the call design the columns that we create in this particular add columns will come as a table so that is the functionality of add columns so what have we done add columns and then taken this variable as table so maybe and after that i created a column name rk that i created the rank rank x so to create the rank okay we obviously use rank x function so i use a rank x function and then uh, in that i taken uh, this table that we created summarize table in that based upon what i want to give a okay, ranking based upon the total sales and then again no value over here the descending order and the dense we do have skip and dense but i want to go use the dense over here so i got my subcategory total sales and the ranking also in this particular variable i have a table with uh, this particular summarized table and the rank also based upon the total sales that we do have each and every subcategory so from that i want to return only the total sales of the subcategory whose rank is 1 whose rank is 1 so obviously we'll get the first rank total sales only over here so again we filter this uh, and those columns those, those subcategories only will be uh, shown over here so we'll get the uh, summarized table only for this uh, selected values if you select anything if you don't select anything we'll get all the subcategories over here and then okay from them from them we'll get whatever the rank if you select something only those subcategories will be there in this particular uh, subcategory which is which we created as a variable so from there whatever uh, got the first rank will be shown over here the total sales of that particular rank one subcategory will be shown in the card one again in the same way like we made it for the card two also like i'll show you the card two whenever the rank is 2 i want to show the total sales of that rank 2 subcategory so i'll get that one then for the third also we made the same thing like whenever the rank is 3 i want to show that total sales over here that's fine so when we get okay the total sales only 1 2 3 sort of sales we we show over here but how we are hiding this one very simple tricky thing nothing more complex so let me show you that okay so we are coloring this so how we are coloring this so card one color if is blank of card one the measure that we created right now if that is blank means if you don't have any value over here something like that if if this value is blank okay if the card one uh, the measure that we created right now card one if the result is blank then i want to make the color as white if it is not blank then i want to make it as blank as black color the same thing for the second one also like so second card color if is blank of card 2 like the measure card 2 if the result of card 2 uh, measure is blank then i want to make it white color if it is not blank then i want to show the value in the black color so again we'll go for uh, formatting we done the same thing for this one also we'll go for formatting of this one so anyone so let me take this one and then i'll show you like what is the formatting things that i will done so go for here and then in the fx you can see i will taken the conditional formatting in that i use field formatting let me show that again for you how to do that so the conditional formatting will open and then in that i want to go for field formatting and from this i want to use card three color and click okay so obviously based upon if you don't have any value over here if you don't have the third rank product selected from this one okay the entire card data will be shown in white color in okay this was given to this uh, uh, call out value at the same time it was given to this particular okay uh, category label so this category label also will become white 
uh, when you don't have any value over here. If you have the blank, if you have a blank value at that time, uh, the blank also need to be shown like in the black one, but I made it to show it in the white one. So obviously what happens? So when you have the blank over here, it will show us the white color, which obviously okay, gets mixed with the background and then you can't see that. And again, for the border also, we'll make the same thing. So go for here and then like FX, the visual border also, you'll make the same thing. You'll, you'll use the same uh, card three color over here. So for the border, for the callout value, and then for this particular okay, category label, we'll use the same color. So when you when you have this particular okay, uh, value as blank, an entire visual, okay, you can't see because all the color will become from black to white. So let me show you that. I selected only okay, two products and you can see I don't have that one. It's not like we don't have that one. We have that one, but obviously it was colored in such a way that it mixed it with the white background. So whatever your background is, you'll give the same color to this, to that, and then it works exactly the same way. Right? Uh, the same thing, okay, made it for this, uh, this one and this one. Okay, three chords. So when we have, when you don't have any value in this particular, okay, uh, measure, then the entire chord will become the white color which makes you feel like you don't uh, have the uh, card in this one. So this is the tricky part to do this one. Again, so we thought we discussed in the earlier that we want to like expand this scenario, like how we can make it. So whenever, okay, in general, if you don't have any value selected, we are able to show all the three cards. If you don't select anything again at that scenario, if you don't want to show any value, then simply for this card, simply for this card, you can make some more changes, like you can use is filtered, is filter of subcategory, okay, then you will show this, else you'll show blank. If is filtered of subcategory, so this one, else you make it blank. So obviously, wherever it is blank, then you can make it. So that is what you can do it over here. Let me show it for you also by doing that. So duplicate this space. I'll duplicate this space. And here I'll make it, okay. So let me, so copy this one. Or else in the same measure, okay, I'll do it over here. Or else I'll co copy this one. And then I'll create another measure, simply new measure. Right, and then control V. So again, card one, okay, A, I want to create like that. And then if these is filtered, this filtered of subcategory, if this subcategory is filtered, Comma. This one, right? Okay, so let me make this one. Okay, else. I think let me show you like this. Right. Right. Let me prove this. Again, card one color also, let's make it in that one. Control C and then let me make a new measure in that one. Control V, card one A color. I'll make it like that. So I prove that one also. So here, okay, for this one, I don't want to use card one. I want to use card one A. And then uh, again, when you have, okay, card one A as blank. So obviously I want to make, okay, the callout value and delete this one, give the function and then go for form field value. Give that particular, okay, 
sorry for the disturbance right uh, click ok and ok so call out value also play that one then fx go for ok a field value and then this one called one year color and then ok so let's make it like this one Card one year. We need to write card one year, and then okay, it will works. So again, for this particular border also, we need to give okay, the formatting color. So FX, the visual border, and then delete this one. Make it again like for gradient, the field values, and then come over here, and then one year color, and then okay. So if you see, if I don't select anything, I don't have this first card. Again, you can make it same same for the card two and card three also. Okay, I'll, if I select something, I'll have the card one. Okay, if I don't select anything, I'll have don't have the card card one. The same way you can make it for card two and card three also, so that when you don't select anything, you can't you hide all the things. If you select something. You'll have that one. If you select two values, you'll have two cards. If you have if you select three values, you'll have three cards. If you select more than three values, okay, from that, from those values, whichever is the highest top three uh, ranks based upon the total sales, those three need to be shown over here. Those need to be changed as per the selections. If the selection changes, okay, so again, the values in that particular cards need to be changed. Again, you can make the title and that title also you can give this particular subcategory uh, of which we got this total sales and then a lot of things that we can make it. So for now we'll uh, end up over here and then we'll come up with some other good uh, scenarios also. If you're still uh, okay, looking this, I feel that you like this video, please like it and share it. Please try to subscribe my TV channel. And anyone interested to go with my Power BI training, please contact this number and then please join the Telegram channel so that you'll have more updates upon my Power BI training material and a lot of other things regarding Power BI. So thank you so much. Have a great day.